we're gonna go ahead and put them in his environment. Now, an important thing I wanna show you when unboxing your brand new praying mantid pet, which is one of the greatest pets in the world, but you gotta learn a few rules. If you were lucky enough to order a praying mantid, which is a praying mantis, but the singular version, also get what comes in our habitat kit, which is a pair of tweezers, a net to catch bugs, and the habitat. But the best part is you get the bonus, a baby praying mantid. They come in different levels of molting, which is what's called a nymph, and there's a uh, nymph levels on most mantids one through seven before they become an adult most of them don't have wings until they become an adult which is a good thing because these guys can jump and run really fast oh see him jump you don't want to lose them in an environment that's small the best place to unbox your praying mantid is on a table like this it's a big table it's one color so if he does run i can catch him we're going to go ahead and open this and put them in his environment. And then we're going to show you real quick how to feed them, how to water them, etc. Now, an important thing I want to show you when unboxing your brand new praying mantid pet, which is one of the greatest pets in the world. They're so easy and so fun to keep. Uh, but you've got to learn a few rules. They're an insect. All insects are only so intelligent. They, they jump, they panic sometimes, they run. They get excited when the cup opens because they've been in there probably for a couple of days in the mill. They're really awesome pets because they're very calm. They are predators, but they're ambush predators, which means they don't hunt their prey. They just sit and wait for their prey to come by. So they're very patient. Best thing to do is just let them go in on their own. When they're this small, if you try and scrape them off, you risk damaging their legs or killing them accidentally. So the best thing to do is just let them kind of do their own thing. Sometimes just put it in his path and bug him a little bit. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. Be careful you don't squish him in the lid when you put it on. And that's it. Now you can hang your praying menace pet on the wall. You can sit on your desk at work. Some people say, I don't want to have a pet because I don't want to keep it captive. These are one of the few pets that you can keep in in captivity longer than in the wild. Most praying mantis only live one year in the wild, but you could keep a praying mantis for four or five years. I've even heard of them living longer in captivity because they're well taken care of and they're loved and, and they're your actual pets. They'll get to where they'll actually kiss you. I Believe it or not, they'll be just like a puppy dog. If you have a question that you need help, uh, you wanna suggest more content, you can reach us uh, direct 727-678-3521. You can email us, John Wayne at prayingmenacepet.com. Uh, definitely go to the website and the YouTube channel and subscribe so you get our latest video content. And if you wanna see a new video, let us know, we'll, we'll make it. Give us your suggestions, we love it. We love the feedback, we really do.